Hello, today we'll be going over cat muscle anatomy. Our learning objectives for today are to identify muscles of the cat based on regions. Muscles of the head and neck, the dorsal and ventral trunk, muscles of the forelimbs, and muscles of the hind limbs. Then be able to identify the difference between cats and humans. Before we get started, let's talk about anatomical position because it is slightly different between humans and cats. As you can see in this figure, dorsal and ventral on the cat are not the same as they are in humans. This is because a cat walks on four legs and a human on two. So the dorsum of a cat is superior while the dorsum on a human is posterior. You get the picture. Just be aware of the difference in directions as we look at images of the cat. Here we have a picture of muscles of the head and neck. On the right hand side we have a picture of the masseter, which is a muscle of the head. This is the left masseter, the muscle of chewing. Down below you have a muscle of the neck, which is the sternomastoid. In humans, the sternomastoid is called the sternocleidomastoid, or clidomastoid. Cats also have a, instead of a sternomastoid, they also have a clidomastoid. In humans, the sternomastoid and clidomastoid is fused together to become the sternocleidomastoid, seen here. So let me say that again. Cats have a sternomastoid, but they also have a clidomastoid. In humans, it's the sternocleidomastoid, which is those two, two muscles fused together seen here. Muscles of the dorsum or back, and remember it from our figure of anatomical position that the dorsum or back is actually a superior view. As the muscles are the trapezius, seen here, and remember the head would be right here, and the latissimus dorsi or dorsi. So trapezius which helps to extend the neck, and then the latissimus dorsi, known as the swimmer's muscle. Muscles of the ventral trunk. Remember, this would be inferior, an inferior view. That would be the pectoralis major, seen here, and this would be the left side. Pectoralis major. This is the chest pectoralis major, the rectus abdominis, this is a parallel muscle, and then the external oblique, which is this flap right here. These muscles are deep to the external oblique, the internal, ob internal oblique and the transverse abdomen. Remember that the muscle fibers of the rectus abdominis run parallel with the midline. Oblique run diagonal. So rectus abdominis and the external oblique. And then the pectoralis major. Muscles of the ventral trunk. Deep muscles of the ventral trunk include the external intercostals and the internal intercostals. And then, of course, the serratus ventralis. And here's a little bit different view, the serratus ventralis. Here would be the head and the tail end. This is the serratus ventralis. And these are deep muscles. These are deep muscles. So remember, the opposite of deep would be superficial. So serratus ventralis in the cat, in humans, it's called the serratus anterior, seen here. So this would be the left serratus anterior. In cats, it's called the serratus ventralis. And if you think about this, the directional term sort of makes sense. On the cat, it is the ventral side, and it is the ventral side here, but it's also the anterior view of the chest. 
All right, muscles of the forelimbs, so the brachium, the biceps brachia, and then the triceps brachia. Remember the biceps brachia is to flex at the elbow, and then the triceps brachia would be to extend at the elbow. And just a recall from a previous video, seps means head, and so the triceps would actually have three heads, the biceps would have two. So we're only seeing one head of the muscle here. Okay. Muscles of the hind limbs, gluteus maximus, seen here, and gluteus medius. So this is the tail end of the cat, and down here would be the head end. Just external oblique to sort of orient yourself. So gluteus maximus is more caudal or tail end, and gluteus medius is more towards the head. Remember, this is a superior view, dorsal view. Muscles of the hind limbs. Starting with the thigh, we have the quadriceps group, seen here. This is an inferior view, a ventral view of the cat. The underside of the quadriceps group. And then the sartorius, right here are the was on the human, it's referred to as the sailor's muscle. Here it's been cut and flapped open. Here. So it would have closed over the quadriceps here. And then the biceps femoris. It's sort of lateral, lateral muscle, biceps femoris, which is part of the hamstrings group part of the hamstring screw, which we know does what? Helps to flex at the knee. So remember that from this view, it looks a little funny, but it's actually quite lateral, lateral to the thigh. Muscles of the lower limbs, the perineus longus or fibularis longus, so this red muscle runs down the outside of the leg. The tibialis anterior, which is the yellow one right here. And the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle in humans, right here, this big blue one. Okay, so our learning objectives that we went over today are muscles of the cat based on regions, the head and neck, the dorsal and ventral trunk, the forelimbs and the hindlimbs, and then some of the differences between cats and human muscles. So thank you for listening today. Have a great day of learning.